sometimes people don't need to hear your advice or whatever it is that you think. They just want someone to be there for them. And get rid of that extra weight you are carrying around because that's going to just slow you down. If you've watched the HBO series Game of Thrones, I'm sure you know the name Tyrion Lannister. He's probably one of my most favorite characters and one of the most revered or favorite characters of a lot of people just because of the wise things that he says and shows in that series. So if you haven't watched Game of Thrones, well, check out how Tyrion Lannister delivers his lines and the things that he does in that series. And you would know what I'm trying to say here. But stick with me until the end of this episode because I'm going to share with you 10 things that every wise person can learn from Tyrion Lannister of Game of Thrones. Are you ready? Let's do this. The number one thing that I learned from watching Tyrion Lannister is this. Number one is to accept who you are. Tyrion Lannister was a little person. That's a proper term that you call a person like that. He is called a little person. Accept who you are. He accepted who he was right from the beginning. He didn't see his stature in life as a deficit to a lot of people. Because if you don't, you'd become your own biggest enemy. You'll just hate yourself even more. But if you do, you're going to become untouchable, which he was in that entire series. Just look at Tyrion himself. He knew what he lacked, of course, in height, but he accepted who he was with humility and focused on what he could be great at, which is his knowledge. He shared a lot of knowledge and became the hand of the Khaleesi. He was one of the best advisors around during that time. So that's number one. Learn to accept who you are. Number two, of course, if you watch Game of Thrones, this is a famous line of his, which is, a Lannister always pays his debts. Number two lesson here is, always pay your debts. That's the lesson here. So the more you owe things to others, be it physically or emotionally, the more burden you will feel. And that's the reason why he always said that, like a Lannister always pays his debt. Because if you do, someone does a favor for you, you have to learn how to return it back. Or else, that burden of someone doing something for you will always catch on to you. Pay all your debts ASAP as much as you can and get rid of that extra weight you are carrying around because that's going to just slow you down. That's number two, always pay your debts. Number three, one thing I observed with Tyrion was that a lot of scenes, you will always see him reading books. So number three here is read more books. Why? Because Tyrion knew that his strength was in his mind. His strength was not muscle. Of course, he had muscle around him to protect him. But his greatest muscle was here, his mind. And a mind needs books to become sharp. I think in one of the seasons, he said why he reads books a lot because it sharpens his mind. And the best thing you can do in your youth is to be ready to accept that reading books, as many books as you can, because having learnings from each type of field of your interest can be helpful for you. Read things that you love and eventually you'll enjoy reading. So that's number three, read more books. Moving on to the next one, which is having a good sense of humor. Tyrion Lannister had a very good sense of humor. He joked around even when the atmosphere was so bad during that time, especially, you know, during the time when King Joffrey was the king. is one of the most irritating characters of all time. King Joffrey, everyone, you know, went berserk and crazy happy when he died. During those times, when he worked for the king, he had a very, very good sense of humor until the end. The lesson here is to not be serious all the time. Don't don't take yourself seriously all the time. Cut yourself some slack. Why? Because mixing a pinch of humor in your day-to-day -day activities will elevate the standards of even the most horrible of circumstances that you may be in. You know, you, he was locked in a cage wherein half of it was looking down a high mountain. He was stuck there and he had the sense to make fun of that situation that he was in. Instead of, you know, being pissed and angry and crazy, he had laughter in him on how he would escape. But even Tyrion leveraged his cheeky type of sense of humor humor to glide through rough phases of his life smoothly. And that's why he's one of the characters that lasted until the end. He was that smart. Always have a good sense of humor. Number five, speak with confidence. And one thing I observed with Tyrion was that nobody would give a flying F to what you say if you keep doubting and second guessing everything that comes out of your mouth. You gotta speak with confidence even if you're not confident at all. Even if you don't know what you're saying, you have to speak it with confidence. Not just raising your voice, but the way you deliver the thing that you're saying. Tyrion saved his ass so many times just because of this skill. You know, the his accent and the way he delivered everything for a man of his size spoke like he was seven feet tall. The way he spoke things and released words to 
people of power or people of strength or in position was just so amazing. Learn how to speak with confidence. That's the next thing. Number six is a lesson that you will learn from him that he does that you need to stop, which is don't drink too much. Tyrion was a notorious alcohol drinker. He drank a lot of alcohol and when he drank, he was not in a good space at all. He did horrible things. He did. He cried and he had self-pity when he was crying. The lesson here is not, you know, to drink and drink in moderation if you must. I know Tyrion is famous for drinking and knowing things at the same time. He would always pour wine and drink and be merry, but then wise words didn't really come out of his mouth when he was drinking. So at the end of the day, it's petty vice that we have with drinking and you'd be much more better off without drinking. If you must drink, drink in moderation. And the next thing that I learned from Tyrion is this. The mind is a very powerful tool. Game of Thrones was in an age wherein there were no computers. You can't search anything on Google because it didn't exist yet. It's in a world wherein it's medieval. Arms and ammunitions can only have so much effect on people as well. So the real money lies in the mind that's controlling them. You've never seen like the king or the queen be in battles, right? They're always the last, but they're the ones making the moves. They're like the king, queen, you know, in chess, they're usually the last ones to move just because they have people around them, soldiers and pawns, etc. that's moving around. It's, it's the same with chess. So the real money lies in the people who's really controlling them. And Tyrion was one of them that's controlling everyone around them. Despite being a small man, he had so much weight in his name just because of the people he commanded. And he did succeed in casting a pretty large shadow compared to other people who was, you know, normal in height. And all because of one leverage, his mind. Number eight is unique because he did this not because he wanted to make people happy, but because he always gave what the people wanted. So that's the next lesson. Give people what they want. Show people what they want. One of the biggest reasons why Tyrion managed to survive all this time was because he always proved his worth to powerful people and then he got their blessings because of that. How did he do that? He asked them, what do you want? My lord, what do you want? My queen, what do you want? And whatever they said, they will be done. He made sure that things were done. He was a doer and assisted them just to get what they wanted. Not just being strategic, but giving them what they want. If they want to win over a place that they take over, he had a plan. He gave the people around him what he wanted. And those people are the ones, you know, that he served. Always learn how to give people what exactly that they want. It's the same principle in marketing. People don't know what they want until you show it to them. That's it. Lesson number nine that we can learn from Tyrion is this. Be empathic. What's empathic? Tyrion has this magnificent quality in him of actually listening to other people's stories and being empathetic towards them. You know his wife, Sansa? Back then he was his wife, right? For some part of it. He felt what she felt during that time. And when he's around other people too, personalizes with them. He's being empathetic towards people. Not sympathetic. Sympathy is very different from being empathic. Sympathy is telling them, you know, how they feel. You feel bad about it. Empathy is like you're showing that feeling that, you know, I'm here for you. Those are two different feelings that you have. This instantly establishes a deep sense of connection as everyone, they just want to be heard. Only a few people are really willing to listen. Some people listen because they want to speak. When a person, for example, who is depressed or sad or lonely, they don't want you to talk. They just want someone to be there for them and listen. And that's why I always say, when I have someone around me that's not feeling well, this is what I always tell them. I don't know how you feel right now and I don't wish I'm in your position, but if you need someone to talk to or someone to listen to you, I am here. They just want to know that someone is there for them. Sometimes people don't need to hear your advice, whatever it is that you think. They just want someone to be there for them. Be empathic. That's it. And lastly, one of the most important lessons we can learn from Tyrion is this. Learn how to think outside of the box. We're always thinking inside the box and Tyrion, most of the time, thinked outside of the box. There have been many instances wherein Tyrion was his genius side by not falling for the framework of working within a box. And by thinking out of the box, you're actually expanding the scope of the situation. The secret is to never cave in and keep persevering until you have things your way. Because this is a lesson actually for top management. People are put in high positions because they solve problems that are not searched in YouTube or in Google. Management positions are there because they think outside of the box to solve problems. And that's why they're paid high amounts in terms of salary and that's why they're in high positions because they make decisions that are not searchable. They make 
sound decisions that's best for the company that they have. If you want that type of decision making, learn how to think outside of your own box. Those are 10 lessons we can learn from Tyrion Lannister. But I want to ask you, what do you think is one of the best lessons that you learned from watching Tyrion Lannister in Game of Thrones? Let me know in the comment section. That's all I have for you today. If you think you found value in today's episode, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll see you again on the next episode. Peace.